Hey, welcome everyone. I'm Rajneesh Gupta and this video will talk about some of the important Splunk resources, free resources to master Splunk for SOC. Or if you are looking to make your career as a SOC analyst or security analyst, you should definitely check out this. Okay. So without taking much time, let's get started. The very first thing that we are going to take a look at is the Splunk use cases some of the basic use cases okay so let me show you those use cases first all right so um as you can see these are the use cases this i'll don't worry i'll show you the link of uh, this blog this article in the description section as well now uh, in this blog of splunk you will find quite a lot of use cases. These are all basics, but these are very, very important. Uh, if you want to learn how to set up a Splunk in a you know demo or trial of Splunk account, I can I can help you out in another video. But uh, if you look at some of the use cases, these are identifying the web users by countries, identifying slow web content, finding new local admin accounts, finding interactive logins from, from service accounts, checking for Windows audit log tampering. This is all related to security itself. Finding large web uploads that can help, that can be helpful in data, in finding or detecting the data breaches or data exfiltration, uh, detecting, detecting the recurring malware on host, uh there are many just just look at this these are all available in just single blog this is prepared by stephen watts um all right so this is about the first uh this is about these uh use cases basics now let's talk about the second resource which is going to be which 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 really which is really really helpful i personally use it okay and i highly suggest you to take a look at it it's called Splunk Research Portal, okay? So let me show you Splunk Research Portal. And this is where you will find out a lot of cool stuff, okay? You can see uh, you have, uh, the first thing that you have is the, uh, you know, this, this portal consists of detection, analytic stories, and playbooks. And this consists of combination of all of them and uh, against different categories so you can see on the left you have investigation response use cases for endpoint enrichment phishing uh, you also have different techniques category and SOAR app as well so if you go to detection just in the detection section detection basically talk about the splunk queries to detect uh, uh, recently discovered attacks or maybe any vulnerabilities in the system so if you have let's say recently uh, maybe a solar wind attack right and we know this was happened because of this specific cve or this attack pattern i can i can use the detection query shared share on this uh, detection or the research portal of splunk and apply that in our network okay so it's all ready to use and then we can get to get to know that if we are impacted by the similar attack or not. So that's very, very interesting. So let's say, for example, on the top, you have the specific detection for 3CX supply chain network, network indicator. We need this, right? So, and of course, if we have 3CX solution, it's definitely be helpful. I can copy this entire query and modify it a little based on my index uh, and everything and paste it in my network on the Splunk query and I can understand based on all the logs that has been collected up from from different part of my organization I can get to see if I have a possibility or I have any network indicators or observable or you know IOCs related to this attack so this is very very interesting uh, next is analytical story and we also have playbooks let me first show you playbooks okay Playbook is basically useful for SOAR. Splunk is also having a SOAR platform, uh, which is basically security or orchestration and automation tool, uh, where you create a playbook. So let's say 
for example, block indicators, OK? So in this case, the, you know, uh, Splunk will help you out with the entire playbook about what, where to start from and what all action you can take. So let's say this is about blocking indicators. So block indicators. So uh, you start with it, you apply some filter enrichment. If you see some of the block IP address, domain or hash value, then you add them into the IP block list update your database and then you complete the playbook so that's how you prepare or improve your own threat intelligence feeds so that's important if you have uh if you have a splunk so which is i think the, the so platform name is phantom and this works with an uh, in integration with all these apps so you if you have palo alto firewalls carbon black EDR solution, Cisco Umbrella, which is for anti-ransomware solution. This can be very, very helpful. And similarly, you have analytic story. This is all about, uh, you know, different techniques, all the procedures has been used. So this is more of informational, which gives you the information about every tags and everything, about how those attacks, what, what all techniques and everything being used into it, right? So you can uh, see that here. So I hope you got the idea about using these research portal um, in your organization. <clears throat> if you get a task by your manager or by team about recently discovered attack or vulnerability, you can quickly, uh, you know, use those ready to ready, uh, you know, ready to use a query and you know install, um, you know, uh, enter on your Splunk and you get to know what where you do where do you stand at this moment. Okay. Next we have. Uh, Next, we the third thing that I want to talk about is the Splunk data sets. Okay, uh, this is useful for learning purpose. If you are using Splunk in your home lab, uh, in, at your home, and you want to improve, uh, you know, uh, improve your detection capability. I mean, your detection learning, how investigation skill, forensic skill. This data sets can be helpful. Uh, are the attacks and all uh, you know attacks users some data sets or, or you know source type and all all already being added here uh, it consists of list of questions and you have to answer them so this is also available i'll show uh, uh, uh you know you can download this data set from splunk official github account which is here you can see splunk bots v2 the actual name is boss of sock that's why it's called bots data sets version. Uh, you can actually download the entire data set, which consists of a normal log as well, normal event as well, or you can download only attack, uh, attack uh, data sets, which is significantly lower, which is 3.2 GB. The entire log or data set is of 16.4 GB. So you can, you can you can install this app and make sure you move it to uh, apps folder uh, in the uh, etc slash apps folder once you do that you have to restart the entire splunk software for you once that is done then you can you know uh, you can see you can go to the index that's where you can find your data sets all right uh, it is also advisable to install these uh, splunk apps as well most important is the uh, you should definitely have uh, I, this. This you can't really have a trial because Splunk Enterprise. Uh, you can't get the trial. You can get the trial of Splunk Security Essential, uh, but for this data sets, uh, the important one is the mic Microsoft Sysmon add-on. Uh, TA Surikata uh, OS query is not really needed, but yeah, it's good to have. You can also have Palo Alto Palo Alto app as well. What exactly it does is uh, usually Palo Alto firewall or any firewall for reason uh, has multiple has categories of logs: threat log, generic log, uh, IPS log, threat prevention logs, and everything. So it helps you to categorize and parse those logs. Okay, so that's the benefit of this add-on. Okay. So you should definitely check this out uh, if you if you want to explore even further. 
I'll also link, uh, I'll also share you a link of my home lab for Splunk, where you can find how to install and how to test and different questions related to that as well. All right. So this was the third resource. Now the fourth resource is very interesting because this is about the live session, live event session. And as you can guess, this is where you will, you can get a chance to, to see Splunk security professional. They, they will be teaching you live. This is like a webinar, but how, how can you access them? I'll tell you about it. Okay. So, um, basically, yeah. So this is where you can find Splunk events. I have applied a filter on security and you can find uh, multiple events related to Blue Team Academy, risk and risk notables for analysis, security workshops, uh, many other, how to build a dashboard, Gartner Summit and everything. So you can, you can take a look at it and I'm pretty sure you will enjoy it, okay? So these are all these Splunk free resources where you can go leverage irrespective of your current situation. Maybe you are fresher or you are using Splunk every day. This is definitely going to be helpful. All right. So this is me, Rajneesh Gupta. Uh, bye for now.